Welcome to another episode of the Baggy Boys. Enjoy. Right, so we're back with another episode, and uh, it's the transfer window, January transfer window. We're going to look to see who we can bring in, um, who's going to get offloaded. I'm going to try and get rid of some of the dead weight, but obviously not shake the team up too much as we've got a very important second half of the season to get on with. Um, there's going to be some games in between this. We're not really going to focus on them, but I will bring you the results where possible. Um, if the game's particularly entertaining, I'll show you guys. But uh, overall, this is really going to be about the transfers as much as possible. Let's get into it. Right, so straight away we've got an offer from Atletico for uh, Malumbu. They're offering uh, around about 13.5 million. Um, it's going to take a fair bit more than that for us to let him go, especially as a lot of it's in installments and only offering me 3 million up top. I don't play that. Um, I want to keep him at the club, so I'm going to make them pay through the arse if they want to take him off me. Right, so I told them what I wanted, uh, essentially in the region of around about 25 million, and they've decided they, they're not involved. They don't want to put that money up, which is fine by me. I don't want to sell him. They haven't got the cash needed to take him away from West Brom. Right, so we just played Crystal Palace in the Cup 5-1. Easy money, easy passes through to the next round. And uh, yeah, it wasn't really a contest. Let's get back into things. Right, so it's uh, another game, another three points, and we're really starting to close in on the top teams in the league. There's only 10 points between us and second place at the moment. Man United are running away with the league. We're not really chasing that. But if we can keep putting some points together and get a point or two from the top sides, we can really get into Europe this season and really push on and achieve something great in our first season with West Brom. Great stuff. Right, that's another three points on the board. 2-0 away at hold. That's put us up into ninth place. Tottenham still got to play later on in the game. But if they drop points, that's looking great for us. We're, we're picking up these points now. Teams really are struggling to stop us at the moment. We just need to make some signings in this window. Ideally, I'm looking for a left winger just to kind of give us more options there um, because if Dorans gets a permanent injury, uh, he picked up a knock this game. If he gets a permanent injury, we're really stuck in that position. I think we've only got Varela left who can actually do a job there. So we're trying to bring in a couple of names in. We'll see what's happened. We tried to bring in Nzogbia and uh, he, um, we got the transfer fee sorted with Aston Villa, which was great. And then he decided he wanted 71 grand a week. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Bro, I'm out, man. That nigga's tripping. Really, fam? Right, so we managed to make a sign. We managed to get Jeffren from uh, Valladolid in Spain. Um, for those who don't know about Jeffren, um, at one point, if I've got this correct, he used to play for Barcelona. He was one of the many wingers to come out of La Masia who didn't quite do as well as the centre mids. Um, he was one that was kind of like, oh, he could be the next guy. Um, I think essentially Pedro was the pair that Jeffren was supposed to become. Um, but yeah, we've managed to pick him up. He's, um, he's 26 years old and um, he's decent. We'll get his stats up. Okay, so there he is. Um, you know, he's not going to set the world alight, but he's a very good player. He's left-footed, which is what I wanted, really. I didn't really want people kind of cutting in from the right and trying to do something. Uh, I really, I like my wingers. If I'm going to play with wingers, I like them to play wide. Otherwise, I'd set them as inside forwards. No issue with that with Jeff He can play as an inside forward, but I'm not going to be having that. Um, I'm going to be using his dribbling, his crossing stats to full effect. He's pretty quick as well, so that's awesome. Right, so here's our starting 11 now looks. Um, with Jeffren out there on the left, he's a natural. He gives us a genuine outlet on both wings, and I'm hoping he can be a problem for Newcastle in four days' time in the Cup. Awesome. Okay, um, Capital One Cup, and uh, we managed to beat Newcastle 5-0 at their place. Um, Jeffren, the new signing, went straight into the squad. Got himself an assist, played an 8.8. Um, this is really quickly becoming a success story with this squad. Whatever happens this season, it really looks like uh, something promising and definitely something we can build on for next season as well. We've really got some good players in key areas of the pitch and we're really starting to string some results together. And um, yeah, didn't think I'd be saying it in the first season of a West Brom save, but we're in a cup final. Bring on Wembley. Right, so uh, final game of the episode, and 7-3 uh, at Chelsea, it was a crazy game. We managed to get three goals against Chelsea, and also have the most possession as well, which is great. We went out, we attacked them, they ended up winning. Um, they were fantastic down our right-hand side, they just picked us off time and time again. But, we've had a great run, around about 10 games unbeaten, something crazy like that. Had to come to an end at some point, 
And um, yeah, it was against Chelsea, but you know, still got a few days left in the transfer window. It'll be interesting to see if there's any business done. But um, until then, you know, it's been a great game, and uh, we'll see what we can do in the final couple of days. Right, so uh, the transfer window has come to an end, and um, it's been interesting. We've managed to hold on to um, Malumbu. No other offers came in for him, and surprisingly, absolutely no offers came in for Berahino, despite the fact he's got 21 goals in 22 starts. Um, but that's great for me. I get to keep him for the rest of the season, and uh, hopefully use that to push on to some great things, and um, maybe a place in Europe. Who knows? Um, I did, however, manage to sign Jeffren. Um, he's come into the squad, and he's been fantastic. Uh, three starts, one sub appearance, and we've managed to get two goals and two assists from him. Um, he's been fantastic. He's hit the ground running, which was great. I was worried there might be a bit of time for him to bed in, um, but he's actually been fantastic. Right, it's the end of the episode, and it's been an interesting month. Um, we've had some great results, only one loss, all the rest of them have been wins. We've managed to progress through to the Cup Final, the Capital One Cup, and um, we managed to sign a player who has hit the ground running and could end up being one of our stars of the season if he keeps this up. Um, the next game I'm going to bring you are going to be the two games against Man City. I've got them in the league, and I've got them in the Cup straight after. So um, that'll be interesting. And then I'll start bringing you the business end of the season. Uh, but until then, uh, thanks for watching. Keep it locked. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. It means a lot. Um, it will help the channel grow. We're still very new here and you're part of the story. Uh, subscribe as well. I'm going to try and bring these videos as frequently as I possibly can. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to put together something of an upload schedule where I can just get these videos out and about. Um, but until then, thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you soon. Peace. Oh! <laughs>